Hi there, and welcome back to Icemandale. I'm Baron. Agreed. We're still in the town of Lonelywood, the starting point of the whole um, Heart of Winter thingy. But we explored a lot of it now. No, I won't go in there. Try again. Done. So there are stairs and doors. We stay on the ground floor for now. Oh, funny. I am your man. Okay. What's that? Elixir of health. Imagine a lady of my breeding reduced to living in a shack. Yes, agreed. Oh, hi. Who are you? Lady Arden Thurlow. Hi. I beg your pardon, but I do not recall giving you leave to enter my home. I suggest you leave here at once or I shall be forced to call down my husband to deal with you. Actually, we've come here to speak with Baldemar. Is he your husband? Unfortunately, yes. I'll never forgive my father for marrying me to such a churlish lout. If he could only see the deplorable conditions I've been forced to endure as the wife of a second-rate businessman. <coughs> what sort of business is your husband in? Baldemar is a Cartwright by trade. Cartwright like Ponderosa? <laughs> He made his fortune by supplying caravan wagons to the trading coasters in the region. Judging by the size of your home, I'd say wagon, wagon making must be a lucrative business in these parts. He doesn't build the wagons any longer, nor that he has been elected to serve as Lonelywood's representative to the council of the ten towns such manual labors beneath his station. Where can we find your husband? For he always is upstairs in his studies, scribbling in his ridiculous ledgers. Thanks. Okay, and there's another door here that leads to the same room. But there's nothing hidden here, so we go upstairs. Um, okay. I think so he many should jobs. move ahead. So, I if guess. he can. Yes, he can. That's Baldemar. Oh, what's that? It's probably locked. No, it's not. Council letter. Awesome. Come on, get in there. Nothing in here. Yeah, you're stupid. I don't. Get out. And nothing in here either. <coughs> so, what does that letter say? To Lonelywood Council Representative Thurlow. All is proceeding as planned. We may acquire the necessary talent for our venture. For the final Once the final preparations have been made, our man will depart immediately for Lonelywood. Expect him to make contact very soon. Remember our discussion. There is too much at stake and we are counting on your cooperation. Do not disappoint us. KT. KT Tunstall? Black horse and the cherry tree. Nah, probably not. So we give that to the Pelly and um, potions of healing go of course to the cleric. What? So I say we go in here and say hi Got to the guy here. Who is running the town. The representative. Okay, represent this then. Why hello there! I heard there were strangers in town. Welcome, Baldama Thurlow at your service. What sort of business brings you to Lonelywood? Uh, we are here to prevent a war between the barbarian tribes and the Tantans. I see. Well, it certainly is reassuring to have a brave band of adventurers such as yourselves in town. If those hairy brutes do decide to attack Lonely, we will need every sword we can get to aid in the defense. Perhaps you can tell us more about the barbarian threat? I can tell you the situation is grim. The barbarians have raised an army and are marching against the Tantans. Our town is cut off from aid and we can expect no reinforcements in the near future. Uh, we have learned that the barbarian's camp is nearby. Do you know where it is? Camp, you say? Hmm, I'm afraid I don't know anything about that. Okay, uh, let me ask you something else. 
We've heard about uh, that one-eyed stranger ha that has stayed as your guest recently. It is a true. Is it true that he was a delegate sent by the Ten Towns? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, he was. He stopped here in Lonelywood on his way to the barbarian camp. As a town representative, I thought it my duty to aid his mission by providing food and lodging. I thought you said the town was cut off from aid. How did he manage to get through it with Lonelywood? That's a good question. To be honest, I haven't the slightest clue how he made it through. He arrived alone, though. Perhaps he managed to slip past barbarians undetected. Perhaps. You said he was on his way to the barbarian camp? You told us you didn't know anything about a camp. Of course I knew about it. If my memory serves me, you specifically asked, asked, asked if I knew the location of the camp. I do not. The delegate did not share that information with me. Um, that's all? You don't have anything that wasn't very useful? Okay. So he doesn't have anything to add, apparently. I thought I missed out on the dialogue option here, but I apparently I did not. So where the fuck was the door? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that's pretty much all. What is Agreed. he? Agreed. Where's the door to that house? Oh, it's it's, it's just that one here, the small one. Okay. So then I guess I can walk up here. And we still have to talk to that lying girl at the well. She doesn't even have a brother. Yeah, this looks like a good place to do what? Digby. I think I had too much to drink last night. Hey, what am I saying? There is no such thing, uh, says my brother. Uh, hey, who are you anyway? I'm Stormfireblade, who are you? I'm Digby. I'm a trap around these parts. Uh, me and my brothers catch all sorts of vermin, skin them and sell them. Cause it's hard, hard lately now that Emmerich is poking around. What do you know about Emmerich? Emmerich is nothing but a uh, gutless crybaby who likes to poke his nose where it don't belong. He don't like us trapping in the woods. I think he likes animals a little too much if you get my meaning. What do you know about Lonely Woods and the Barbarian Threat? It's nice! All those barbarians send the animals this way. They run towards the lake and snap! Into the traps they go. Real nice. But you know about Emmerich. Okay. So, well, that's one of those guys that uh, kill all the animals. And that's why Emmerich thinks, uh, you know, the god of Sylvanus, the god of the wood and stuff, um, hates him now. I think that's rather stupid, but you never know with those Understood. abilities. <coughs> Nick B says if we catch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more rabbits, we can have a party. Party, party, ha huh, ha. Huh. Who are you? Dolan, I'm Dolan. My brother's name is Dickby, and I have another brother. His name is not Dickby, though. It's Dougal. Uh, he seems rather stupid. Interesting. What do you do here, Dolan? I catch rabbits in the forest. Sometimes we catch elk too, and some bears. Sometimes. One time I caught Dougal. Ha <laughs> ha! So funny. He didn't love them. Uh, do you know anything about Lonely Wood and the Barbarian Thread? Bob, Bob. Uh, is that a type of bear? Oh, dang you. What do your brothers do? They help with the rabbits. They drink the fire water too. They don't let me have it though. If I do, they say I become a crazy bastard. Farewell, Dolan. And uh, do you have anything to add here? You're the third brother. Who, who are you? My name is Stormfireblade. Who are you? I am Dougal. Me and my brothers are trappers around these parts. Why? Where do you trap? I trap uh, wherever I damn well please. Next person who complains to me about it's gonna get a mouth full of knuckles. And that do go to Emmerich. What about Emmerich? Emmerich is a ranger who lives further towards the lake. He acts like he's the law around here. He's just a sniveling brat. Next time he messes with our traps, he'll regret it. Okay, do you know anything about barbarian? Don't know nothing about them barbarians. All I know about this town is that it's filled with washed up losers. Be fine though if it weren't for that duke or the emmerich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> do you have anything that I could actually loot? No, where the fuck is the door? Yeah. So I thought we could kick their asses, but apparently we can't. 
Let's get back to that well. Well, well, well. I know who's gonna get a spanking now. We don't shot fire if the house is not really burning. Where's the rest of my party? Thank you very much. Hi girl. Uh, did you find father? No, I spoke to your mother and she told me you had no brother, Haley, and that you'd best go home to your father. I won't go. Let him make his stupid barrels all day because I won't do it. I hate it and I hate him. I think a young girl could find more amusement in playing pitch pebble or old man's crutch than telling tales to strangers. <coughs> Those games are for babies and besides there's no one to play with except Purvis and he gets mad when you pitch pebbles at him. There is n there's no other children in town? There's just me, always, all, father always in the shop making his stupid barrels and mother's always drinking in the inn. There's nothing to do in this stupid town. So what do you do all day? Surely you do not wander this town alone. Uh huh, sometimes in the forest too. What? What, what, what? Surely you do not wander this town alone. Uh huh, sometimes in the forest too. Okay. Uh huh, sometimes in the forest too, but not much. Mostly just in town. By the well, sometimes. Oh, Purvis Shack, or I climb up in the tree. By the end, there's a really good view up there. Good view of what? People in town, of the inside, of the inn, and things, things I can't tell you about. Secrets. Secrets? Like what? Secrets, secrets! If I told you, they wouldn't be secrets! Um. If you tell me, I'll give you a shiny gold piece. We're we bribing her now? Hmm, let me see it first. Then I'll tell you, maybe. Now we have 140,000, so we can get a lot of secrets. Here you are, one gold, one secret. Well, you can't tell anybody, but you know that old bag of bones, Kieran? The one that bought the inn? Yes, I know him. <coughs> well, you know why he bought the inn? Bet you don't. No, why did he buy the inn? Cause it has a magic mirror. Uh huh, it's true. I saw him step right through it. Well, I mean, he opens it first, but it's like he's walking right through it. Okay, 15,000 XP. You learned the secret. I guess we already found that one, that mirror. I believe you. I know of this door already. Thanks for telling me, though, Haley. Ha ha ha. Just don't tell him I told you, else he'll put me in this mirror. <coughs> Haley, do you know anything about the barbarians? Mother wants to leave because of them. But she always wants to leave. She says the barbarians are going to burn down Lollywood. What does your father say? Father keeps telling her to be quiet because I'm right here, but mother doesn't care. I think father doesn't want me to be scared, but I have ears and I'm not dumb. <coughs> okay, what about the people? Um, who's Purvis? Purvis for once. Purvis for once mostly. Uh, Cause I waited for him to come out of his shack so I can hit him with... What? With what? Three are cones. What the fuck is that? Sometimes he sits in his shack cross legged for hours, all still like a rock, and I have to throw stones at his door for a long time to get him up. Who's Purvis? Purvis the grave digger. He hasn't said much since he got here, but father says he buries dead people. Yeah, better than burying alive people. When I climb the trees around here, I have a good view inside his house novels. Since he got here? How long has Purvis been here? A couple of weeks, I think. Father says Purvis must be dumb as rocks to think he can make a living out of burying people in Lollywood. Nobody's died here in years. <laughs> okay, but they're gonna die eventually. But then again, if there are not many people here, but okay, skip it. I see. Other than Purvis, what other things do you see up in the trees? Well, those three, I mean, half head brothers. <coughs> I used to see them going and setting traps in the woods, even though Emmerich told them not to. They're going to get in big trouble when Eric finds out. Uh. Okay, I, I guess we can't get another secret out of here.
How about this one here? Uh, Haley, stop throwing brack <coughs> braccoons at purpose. I switched into Haley mode. <laughs> I uh, put a special enchantment on him that will send the Briera cones flying back at the thrower. You did not. Don't argue with me. <laughs> Just don't throw braccoons at purpose. I wanted to talk to you about uh, what I've seen. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that's probably it. I'm here. Would it change My pleasure. if the mage talked to her? No. Uh, shouldn't you be going home? Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm not going home. Mother spends all the time drinking at the inn and never comes home, so I'm not going home either. Oh, now that's nice. Uh, we could either, you know, threaten her to go home. Uh, or I'd try the good way first. Your mother's at home, waiting for Ellie. I think she's going to be around more often. Oh, really? You mean it? Okay, I'll head home right now. Farewell, Ellie. 15,000 more XP. I guess if we have, uh, you know, told her about that guy with the magic mirror, she wouldn't be, like, Ready. afraid and then would have went home too. So, the question is, where was... I'll handle it. That, um... Bar... I, I wasn't in here, really? Of course I wasn't in the temple. I don't know why the door is closed. Um, the bar, where was it? Was it here? I wish they would have, you know, put up signs in front of the houses. That would be awesome. Like they did in East Haven and stuff. Uh, Agreed. <coughs> because I think uh, I will do the the lure master thingy now. But to do that, uh, no, that's not it. Who are you, Emmerich the Hawk? All right. No. Fine. Then uh, we. Then it's probably was this one here. I'm on it. Of course, I could watch my own old video uh, to see where it was. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know. I could do some more of the Heart of Winter thingy, but I'm afraid that um, maybe, uh, like in Icewind Dale, they put you into uh, an area where you can't return then to Lonely Wood, and then I might miss out on the Lure Master thingy. That's why I'm gonna do it now. I know that at the end of the Lure Master thingy, you get teleported back. Uh, to Lonely Wood, and then we can continue with the I'll main quest. It. Back again, are we? What you be wanting this time? No way, that's the wrong one. No, I don't want to talk with Tunnel Fist. Thank you. Well, back again. Have you found any uh, heroes willing to take up a challenge, or are you just pulling an old, uh, old bears? Are you just pulling an old, old bears, fellas? Yes, we are willing to accompany you. Wonderful. I'll take you there right away. Now just give me a few moments. How do I work with this thing? Is it that rune or this one? And what now? Oh, we're gone. Teleport without error. That's awesome. Oh, I see. don't see any more snow. Hmm, see I told you it wasn't far. Hehe, <laughs> now uh, Timurus stinking luck to you and all that. Uh, what? Where in, in Faron are we? We're in Anorok. It's a desert. There you go. Happy? Now get on with the heroics. We need... Uh, I need to rest these old bones. What have you done or what? Ah, you wanted to come here, right? You accepted the challenge, yes? Well, here it is. Enjoy. Wait. Bah. Awkward. And he goes. What the fuck is that? Oh, Auronok, the desert. I know that from a Neverwinter Nights. And the ex uh, wait a second. Pause the fucking game. Here. Um, I say we kill you. This ends now. Almost dead. Thanks. 
and now we kill you. This ends now. Yo, you should switch to a melee weapon. Orders? Uh, yeah, I never went tonight. I think. Um, ah, damn wait it. a second. You're still attacking the mage. I'm listening. I don't like that too much. You want me? Use your dagger then. You have my attention. What happened to Goldmund? She's in panic! Awesome! Ready. So, back and to really. Sling. Yes. Yeah, I never went on night. I think. Uh, what's it? Shadows of Undrentide, the first expansion that takes place in that desert. I'm on it. So we got 1000 XP out of it. Ouch! But they really hurt. Where is Goldmund? Damn. Come on, girl, snap out of it. Oh no, she snapped out of it. What? Give the word. I think we need healing. What's that here? Heal. That's awesome. Q critical. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I, that battle didn't went as well as I could because I was a little bit surprised here. I should have paused the game earlier and, you know, get my formation straight. <clears throat> Doesn't matter though. I hope the next battle will go better. So, the Got halfling it. went in here. Well, that's a nice change, uh, you know, of climate and stuff. I'm on it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. The cold isn't, uh, you know, fully gone yet. Don't you have enough to do in the rest of this godforsaken place than pester me? What is this place? This? It's uh, my humble refuge from the sand and sun. I've collected a few bits and pieces of treasure from the ruins over time. Most of it is junk, but at least it occupies my time. How oh, did you find this place, Hobart? Eh, like you, I heard about it from someone else who came here. I've been trying to get at the treasure inside for quite a while now. I'm just one old halfling, though. Hehe. <laughs> what can I do against the ghost? Hmm? Indeed. Are you interested in trading any of the goods you've collected? Sure, why not? It's not like any of this junk has sentimental value. Let me see what you have. Um, regular weapons... Arrows plus two. Arrows of biting, arrows of fire, arrows of piercing, goblin arrows... Bullets plus two. <coughs> Chain mail, full plate mail plus one golden circle. What does that do? Plus three versus slashing weapons. Bing, bite. Gauntlets of ogre power. Uh, set strength to 18100. I'm not really sure we need that. Helmet. Short bow of ebullience. Ebullience? Whatever, plus three. I think we have a better bow already. Praises of Icelandic Pearl. Dexterity minus two. Skip it. Skull Flail. It's a plus four. Uh, weapon Flail. Hmm. And another bag of holding. Awesome. Uh, no. Thanks. Um. Let's take a look. Is anybody needing gauntlets? You could use gauntlets. You could also use gauntlets. <coughs> so I guess I'm gonna get rid of all those non-magical projectiles now. Arrows plus one. Arrow of fire. Inferno arrows plus two. Arrows of piercing. Acid arrows. I don't think we need all that stuff anymore because he has um, Troll Slayer, 
which has a file uh, damage. I can use that if I come across any more trolls. What do you need? Here. So I guess I should buy a few Orders. magical bullets and arrows and it. get going. Okay, so you get those gauntlets. Oh, you can't use them? Oh, yeah, well then, screw it. I wanted to buy magical things here. Oh, that's all you have actually. Seven, okay, sixty. Excuse me, that's not really much. I, I thought you have like an unlimited supply and stuff, but no, you don't. No, all of them actually. Okay, I don't need that. What is that? Pill for purification, what does that do? Uh, this elven concoction will purify the drink of any diseases spreading through the body. Uh, I have a, a paladin that can cure diseases, thank you very much. <coughs> so, we don't have that many of those arrows plus one. Arrows plus two. So I start with arrows of piercing. That's not really much though. But yeah, now come on, 300. Nah. I'm listening. Okay. Oh, come on, 300. But you use them up a l quite fast actually. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm start using it. Okay. What time is it? Oh, we still have a few minutes. You have my attention. Oh yeah, and that girdle here. Um... Oh, everybody already has a girdle. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. Well. Okay. Got it. You know, because you Understood. very seldom find nice girdles. I thought uh, I could buy that, but no. <clears throat> Do I need that? Probably not. Yes. So, where is it on the larger map? Oh, it isn't really on the map. Okay. I'm on it. Enemy sighted where? Yeah. Hi. You do well to fear a woman's wrath. You're using Ready. arrows. Yes. What? See? This one's mine. When the formation holds, it's much better actually. Oh, you come through. Oh, unpleasant. Goldmond is panicked again. Not nice. Um I'm listening. Mm, what could we do? Death spell on you. Go ahead. Ready. Quickly. Goes the flame. This is not going well. Here. Yes. What else do you have? Silence is pretty useless. Here, um. For what do you need me now? Okay. Orders? Barely injured, barely injured. Not enough power, fast victory! Most. And now you. I'm here. 
This one's mine. And another one. Almost dead. Okay, so maybe it was too soon to go in here? Agreed. Holy fuck. You have my attention. What happened to you? You also panicked. Come on, snap out of it. <coughs> Hello? Okay. What do you want? You almost died here, girl. Vita Mortis. Yes. Although you have a magic resistance of 15 and an armor class of minus 13, you gotta be kidding me. What? Okay, it's time, so I'm gonna take a break here. Ding it. Fall Understood. Up. This is tough. And we will continue this in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.